akude dia siku ye yon malade. Lori oro to she lò nò ni yo. Ok. Lori oro saimon. Epa. O ne mo she walo ni. Petes update ibe. Nse yi. O ne mo feke wo. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for our good. I can see everything turning around. Oh, turning around. Everything turning around for our good. Fellow Biafra friends and lovers of freedom, friends of Biafra worldwide. My name is Rafael Chiamaka Ajere. I'm also known as Pastor Vam Vam Vam. By the grace of Tukwoki Kadama Premi Heni, Lady God of the Biafran people, I am Deputy Minister of Communications, Biafra Republic Government in Exile, under the leadership of Mazi Simon Ekba. The Obato be one. <laughs> Obato be one of Biafra land. I greet you all and I bring you good tidings. Good tidings because the lands are now falling in pleasant places for Biafra. Man Simon Ekba is a dogged freedom fighter, a hardcore lover of truth, <laughs> and a winner, a winner, <laughs> a winner. Because there is no battle I have seen him fight since he became the leader of the Biafran people. I have not seen any battle that he has lost. And every potential battle right now, <laughs> he must win. Believe you me. I want to appreciate Dr. Kemi Oloyo. And uh, this lady, I used to look at her before as someone that is not very serious. But now, some of those people you don't take seriously. You know, sometimes you need to appreciate them when they come out to defend truth like she is doing right now. The truth is that Nigeria is, has no dived to the point of no return. To the point of no return. And somebody like uh, 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 Kemi Oloyo has been you know good at exposing some of the problems that have bedeviled nigeria and uh, they have taken them to the point of no return and she is speaking out very clearly right now about the ongoing mayhem going on you know in biafra land and they want being planned against the biafran people and she is speaking out and saying <laughs> master simon Epa is a freedom fighter <laughs> and uh, you know one funny thing this God cannot be mocked. Anyone that have no genuine reason to hate Mazi Simon Ekpa or to have hated Mazi Namdekano, they have no genuine reason. You are just hating them because of the, you know, crowd that we are speaking against them and you hate them. Mind you, you are actually pitching your tents, you know, in the camp of doom because these people represent your freedom. And then when you rise up ignorantly against people that represent your freedom, there's nobody that will save you when your midnight comes. So these people are actually your savior. And so consciously or unconsciously, you will be saved by acknowledging the fact that they mean well for you. Because all the accusations that have been leveled against them, you have not validated any of them. You cannot prove any of them. So if there's anything you cannot prove, please, please be very careful in supporting it. So right now, all the expectation that uh, Finland will extradite Simon Ekpa will bring him to Nigeria. <laughs> they are dissipating. <laughs> they, they have, no, not that they have dissipated completely. You understand? They are dissipated completely. And everybody, even those that were, you know, very stupid before, they are now beginning to see, you know, haven't listened to very intelligent people, that there is no way Nigeria will ever have an edge against Simon Ekpa. Talk less of Biafra. And so, if there's any hope for you uh, in Nigeria, it is Biafra. Believe you me. If there's any hope for you, it is Biafra. So those that are, you know, standing for their freedom and standing against Nigeria, eh, they know that standing with Biafra is the only anchor that they have. Because they may not have the structure that we have. So they need to stand with this structure of Biafra under our Prime Minister to be able to, you know, you know have a, a lifeline of salvation. So fellow dear friends, do not let anything bother you at all. We are here. Master Simon Ekba is the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government. And in this government, there are, you know, 
leaders in this government. There are, you know, cabinet members, formidable, that are taking charge of everything. So every promise that Simon Ekbar, the Prime Minister, have promised you, they are all being delivered one after the other. No one will fail. No one. Because the structure to make sure they don't fail is in place. That's why right now in Biafra land, there's nothing that will be missing. The sit at home must continue. In fact, after the sit at home um, on Monday, there will be another sit at home in solidarity for the convention. Yes, there will be another sit at home which will be announced, you know, either tonight or in the next uh, program by our information minister. So do not let anything trouble you. We are in charge. We have always been in charge and we are still in charge. So, Marzi Simon Ekba is coming out in grand style. Believe you me. And they imagine the shame and disgrace that will be upon you. You are a journalist. You are a news anchor. You, are, you have a platform. And you have been reporting. Simon Ekba will be repatriated. Simon Ekba is a criminal. Some of them even said, I want him to be shot. Many, many things you have said. How will you be able to face it now? When he comes out now and continues in a more higher tempo. How will you face it? And then you see, look at around, look around you in Nigeria. Just look around you in Nigeria. Even Tinubu, in all the latest meetings he's going to, he's telling everybody he means that Nigeria is in a hopeless situation. Nigeria, Tinubu in his mind, I saw the last meeting he had. He said they are in a hopeless situation. It is the, they are looking for someone to give life to a lifeless situation. Now tell me, how will that life come for you? No, there's no hope for you, for that life to come. No prayer can save you, and no thing, you can't even, you can't even see the will to bring that save, not that salvation. And even if they have the will, from where will it come? As far as Nigeria is concerned, it's not coming for you. So all you need to do is make sure you abandon that ship called Nigeria and get on to the freedom ship for your salvation. So that is why all those that have said everything negative, that unbelievable lies, unbelievable propaganda eh? against Simon Ekpa, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic. You will see all of them. Either some of them will disappear from the space, or some of them will hide, or some of them will come back and say we were just reporting the news as it came. <laughs> because we are here to make sure that it happens. And I'm here. The gods are with us. The gods are with us. <laughs> The gods are with us. And so there's no need for you to panic. There's no need for you to fear. There's no need for you to worry. The restoration of Biafra is sacrosanct. December 2nd, every one of us in the cabinet of the Biafra Republic government and every Biafran worldwide and friends of Biafra that are supposed to be in that convention, we are heading to Finland. <laughs> My bag is ready. <laughs> My ticket is ready. Uh, I am here because uh, it is, uh, you know, it is yet the time for me to catch my flight. I'm telling you, there's nothing that will stop us from getting to Finland. And I uh, believe you me, our prime minister will be there with us. Yes, the Finnish government knows very well that our prime minister have this program. You understand? So they have heard him for questioning, and they have questioned him enough. And our prime minister is going to be with us for this convention. Believe you me. Yes. <laughs> and then by the time it emerges on that day for this convention, tell me, tell me how you will report the news. Now you see why it is interesting for us, Biafrans, why we are celebrating it as a win-win. Because now they have condemned the PM that he has been arrested and the PM emerges in the convention and then the video is out, they will be reporting it. All the news stations will be reporting it. Those that have refused to report it before will report it now. And then those of you that thought Biafra is dead, you will see that you were deceived. And if you are a Biafra, eh, nobody is rejecting you. So rise up now <laughs> and join the winning team. Eh? I will Rafael Chawaka Jere, aka Pastor Van Van Van. I will post the video of uh, Kemi Olu Lawyer later for you to watch and appreciate that there are still few people you know in the zoo that are at that, at that level of journalism that stands on the truth in fact all the journalists in nigeria are all at chikote one you can't compare with kemi on lawyer you can't compare and if she's saying that the things she's saying about biafra and about what is happening in the southeast in biafra land and about what they are planning to bring on biafra land believe her believe her and then those of you that have refused to you know stand with your people eh, 
Honestly, there will be sacrificial lambs. I hope you don't become the one. Those of us that know what to do, we will do the needful to save our lives. Airborn! I am Vam Vam Vam. See you in Finland! <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome, dear friend people, and welcome the media and the press who have gathered all over the world to listen to the Biafra government updates from all over the globe. To bring you warm greetings from the Biafra Republic government in exile and the de facto in the homeland, headed by the Prime Minister, the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Mazi Simon Epa Njoku, the man that everyone wants his head on the spike because of fighting for the freedom and the defense of the Biafran people. The man, they say he has committed a crime because the zoo terrorists wants to slaughter Biafrans, and then he stands in to make sure it doesn't happen. The man that after the kidnap of Mazen Namdekano, the zoo terrorists wants to invade our lands to slaughter our babies, women, and children, and everyone wants to drag him to the mud. I salute Biafrans, and we bring you Good tidings. We've gathered here today to give you updates on the Biafra Convention and also our Prime Minister. With joy in our hearts that our dear nation Biafra is to be declared and restored come 2nd December, we hereby declare this meeting open. This meeting is to remind Biafrans in all ramifications that they have a duty to do. And the Prime Minister had a structure set up before he went on his national assignment. And what he expects every Biafran to do is that you dispatch your duties amicably and to prove him otherwise when he returns so that he will be super proud of you. And Finland Convention updates as we all head our way down to Finland because nothing can stop the declaration of the restoration of the United States of Biafra. So if you are in the homeland, if you are in diaspora, if you are a rep, if you are an admin, if you don't have any post discharging the duties of the Biafran government, you have a responsibility to give your support to these reps and admins. And reps and admins are at this point admonished to tighten up their belt and to stay fast because they have a greater tax ahead of them. Every activities of the government continues as normal. The structure the Prime Minister has set up continues. And the convention, we will meet all of you in Finland. At this very point, I will invite uh, my minister, the European rep, to take the floor as he addresses Biafrans. Honorable Uche, over to you, sir. So, and, um, thank you very much. Everyone should remain muted, please, while the minister takes the floor. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister Sonny. Uh, good evening, cabinet members. Good evening, press. Good evening, dear friends all over the world. Thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is uh, Mazu Che. I represent the Biafra government in Europe. And we are here today to update you on the recent events concerning the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, His Excellency Simon Ekba Njoko. First of all, we would like to inform dear friends that the Prime Minister is absolutely resolute and is ready to defend the Biafra cause. The opportunity to have the Biafra discussion has finally happened, and the Prime Minister is ready to address the plight of Biafra and lay bare the gross human rights violations against the Biafra people. Speaking to the information at our disposal, the Finnish local authorities is said to be suspecting our prime minister of public incitement to commit a crime with terrorist intent through social media space. As Biafra citizens, we have been together in this struggle and we understand that we are now in. Four the peer friends were suspected of financing terrorism, of which our legal representations are working to make sure that they are on top of matter. The official authorities have requested that the court grant them up to two weeks period for further investigation while the prime minister remains in their custody. At this point in time, 
we will work closely with the legal representation to ensure that the prime minister is well represented. At the same time, we are going to intensify the upcoming declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafras. My fellow Biafra people, we will come to the end of this crossroad and the enemies are quaking and willing and trying to make sure that our convention is disrupted. But as a government in exile, as the Biafra Republic government in exile, we are here to assure the Biafra people that we're not going to be deterred. We are going to continue the pursuit for our freedom, our inalienable rights to self-determination, and nothing, absolutely nothing, can stop the Biafra independence from taking place on the 2nd of December, 2024. I call on my fellow Biafra citizens to remain strong. We have learned a lot from the Prime Minister. We have learned a lot from this agitation, and we remain without fear before our enemies. That is the symbol of being a Biafra. The pursuit is first. Those who wish to listen to our struggles, those who wish to listen to our plight, should come forward and make sure that they treat the Biafra with human dignity. I'm very, very glad that finally we have the opportunity to discuss the Biafra issue on the international stage. And this time around, it's not going to be the same story as usual. At this point, I'm going to call the Chief of Staff to take the mic and brief us for that on the recent developments and the way forward with the restoration of independence of the United States of Biafra. Thank you very much, fellow Biafrans. Uh, Honorable Chief of Staff, Dr. Ngozi Orebreze, please. You have the mic. There we Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Honorable uh, Marzi Uche. Thank you so much, the um, Brigade Cabinet members. Thank you so much, our dear friends, our friends, and our families here watching. We welcome everyone. I can see um, Honorable um, you will be just send a text if she has a minute to do that before I continue. And we'll join Irobi. Are you ready? All right. Welcome everyone. Honorable Jerry Irobi, are you ready, please? Just, she says she has gotten to her destination and she can talk now. Dr. Joy, please unmute yourself. You are still muted. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I was uh, muted. Okay, my camera is also off, but okay, I can talk with that camera. Great beer, France. I want to welcome each and every one of us. So the day has come for us to get our freedom. And remember, it is time for us to go back and listen to all the education and all the encouragement that we have received, not only from our Honorable PM, but also from our leader, Mazen Nandikano. We have finally gotten opportunity to present our case, the Biafran case, to the EU, and that is what is ongoing. So I want to encourage us all and see this as an opportunity that we, Biafrans, that we have finally reached the point where we can address and show the world that number one, Biafra is a tool, is a solution that will bring peace 
to EU because we have the solution to stop the security threats in the Sahel region. We are in the Sahel region. And this is the point now that the PM has gotten a wonderful opportunity to present us, Pia France, as the tool and as the solution to the unrest in the Sahel region. Number two, I want us to understand that our Honorable PM has gotten an opportunity to present to the world, not only to the EU, that the immigration issues that the European Union have been struggling with, Biafra is the solution. Because by us getting this opportunity to be an independent nation, we will stop the immigration of all the human resources of all, especially the Africans that are dying because of their tra uh, traveling, that it we as the Biafrans are the solution. Because by this, our United States of Biafra, it is a nation that will be developed, innovative, that will attract us back home. So nobody will want to immigrate anymore. So, so number two solution. Number three is international trade. As you all know, we Biafrans are entrepreneurs. So we are making a nation that will attract international trade. Four, piracy at sea. We Biafrans are the solution to solve this uh, loss of trade and loss of uh, resources that is seen at a uh, uh, piracy ongoing at the sea. So I want us to see this as a wonderful opportunity for us to finally present our case. It's no longer online government. It's now government to government. So I want to encourage you all to know that we are all meeting in Finland from the 29th of November to the 10th of December, where we will stand as one voice and one group and tell the world that Biafra is a solution that will bring peace to the world. So by this, I want to stop so that we will not take too much time and I want to give back to our honorable COS to be able to continue. Thank you, Gabe Biafra. Airborne, we are going home. See you all in Finland. Airborne. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Honorable um, Irobi. Thank you so much, dear friends. Um, thank you so very much, um, Honorable Joe Irobi, our Foreign Affairs Director, for that wonderful speech and words of encouragement. Honorable Sonny, can you please spotlight my uh, listen? Thank you so much. Again, um, I welcome our uh, dear friends to this. Uh, emergency meeting of the cabinet members. I welcome all the cabinet members here present, both at home and the cabinet members in the de facto government. I welcome and thank our Biafra Liberation Army, our Biafra Defense Forces that are on ground doing the needful to ensure that the restoration of Biafra is not tampered with by anybody, by any government, foreign or local. Our determination, to redeclare really Biafra between November 29th and December the 2nd, but in Finland and in the fact of homeland, is a task that every Biafra, every individual listening here today must be involved in. As the previous speakers have noted, our able prime minister, Obato, his excellency, Simon Emma, will be with us in a very few period, in a very, in a, in a very, this is just a short delay that will in no way affect what we are doing, demean our spirit or hamper our resoluteness to restore Biafra on 2nd December. His Excellency, I greet you. I thank you for the wonderful job you are doing to restore Biafra. I thank you for your resilience. I thank you for not coming in or trying to negotiate that is the spirit of Sisu. Every single individual here in the Afrika government goes with that spirit of Sisu. We are more determined now than before for the restoration of the independent state of Biafra on 2nd December 2024. Nothing in the slide. Absolutely nothing will deter us. Nothing will stop us. So on this note, I want to bring to the notice of all Biafras that our prime minister is safe and sound, very healthy in Finland, attending to these issues 
that usually most of us know, the terrorist state of Nigeria will always try in one way or the other to bribe their way into all the different foreign countries, to bribe their way into places like United Nations, African Union, to bribe their way into every internationally established community or organization. The Nigerian government using the Europeans, using the United Kingdom as part of their deal will always try to disrupt, will always try to tamper with the restoration of Biafra, United States of Biafra. But I want to tell everybody listening here today that the power that Nigerian government has, where they stop is where this government begins. I need them to know that our Excellency, His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic, Simon Epa, has already led a, a full structure for the restoration of Biafra. We stop that. We are both at home and we are abroad. Biafra will be restored from diaspora. Our leader, Andy Kano, has led the structure by introducing His Excellency Simon Epa to, to, to be in charge of this ship. Where we are right now, and that ship is on course. Our leader, Nam Dekano, or you actually remember, it is he is with the Nigerian DSS today because of what we are doing. Our leader, Nam Dekano, has said, instead of Biafra not to come, Nigeria will be going to ashes. And I promise you today, instead of Biafra not to come, we, every single individual, in the African government, in all the structures that our PM has laid down, we will burn Nigeria down. And any country, both international and in homeland, that tries to tamper, that tries to intervene, that tries to stop this restoration, that country will get the brunt of the Africans. So I thank you all for coming here today. Like our Honorable um, Uche has explained to us, what happened in Finland? Our Prime Minister's Excellency Simon Epper has been invited by the Finnish local authorities to volunteer information on what is going on. And our PM has always said he is looking for this opportunity for the government to officially know that the Africans cannot continue to stay in a country where President Tinubu and Nigerian leaders reintegrate and rehabilitate non-terrorists into the Nigerian police and the Nigerian military and the Nigerian Air Force and custom, and they continue to kill our people. Our Prime Minister has looked forward to this particular moment with few innocent Biafrans that we are taking by the Finland authorities that we are invited to come according to them, all they were involved in money, they were making donations, they were funding terrorism. All of you listening to me today, who is the biggest terrorist country we have in the world? Who is among the biggest terrorists? Who is the government that are killing Christians in their numbers? Who is the government reintegrating terrorists? Who is the government expecting two types of uh, laws, one Sharia in the northern part of Nigeria and then the regular in the south? Who is the government that are uh, invited all the different type of terrorists you have? They have their base in Nigeria today. Who is the government that is inviting Hamas and Hezbollah and inviting them to Abuja to come and partner with them? Who is the government when the election is conducted, somebody will go behind the scene and switch the election. They will carry the election course and they will steal it. Who is the government doing that? And now they are saying that PM is inciting, inciting. Let them know that Biafra is a nation. Our PM is defending Biafrans by the second. Our PM has noted that the way it is done before, we are really Biafrans. We just sit, we watch. And these terrorists will come and kill us, kill our mothers, rape our women, kill our children, take away our boys and girls. That is what our Prime Minister Simon Epa has vowed to stop. And he has vowed with his life. All of us, Biafras, in the British cabinet, the country of Homeland, the Biafran Liberation Forces, the Biafran Army, we have vowed in our life. We are going to continue this same call, this same place that our Prime Minister Simon ever has. Nobody will stop that. I want to let Biafras know that our Prime Minister Simon ever has set all the structures in place for Biafra restoration. 
from the beginning to the end. So taking him or removing him to go and ask him questions to delay or to disrupt our Finland convention for the next one or two weeks, it is not going to have any effect. Rather, it is going to make all Biafras more determined in the restoration of the independent state of Biafra. We are a full-fledged country. We have met all the criteria for a full-fledged country. We conducted our referendum where over 50 million Biafrans have voted for the independent state of Biafra. We've conducted different topics, different, we did a Twitter uh, poll where 98% of Biafrans want to exit Nigeria because Nigeria is a killing ground. No sensible person in the world, no sent leader, no individual that has his or her own right, we ever support the existence of a killing ground called Nigeria, where people are killed in their thousands every single day. No sent leader will support that. So anything that Nigerian government is doing, anything the local Finland authorities is doing, I want to assure them that inviting our prime minister or delaying him or making him not to be part of the Finland Convention, which he holds dear to his heart, that will not stop nothing. We are the people. The power belongs to us. The laws of self-determination allow us to rule ourselves, to determine who is going to be our leader. And their friends have done that clearly over the past two years after they kidnapped and renditioned our leader, Mazin Namdekano from Kenya. He is right now in the Nigeria DSS dungeon. They did that because they think that when they take our leader, Namdekano, there will be nothing about Biafra anymore. That was their wish. That was their thoughts. And now they are partnering with the local authorities in Finland to invite our prime minister to disrupt our Finland convention. And let me ask everyone listening to me, if the rendition and our, of our leader Nam Dekanu to Nigeria, if that didn't work, what made Nigerian government think that inviting someone else by the local police in Finland will work? They know it's not going to work. It's even going to get worse. It's going to get more brutal because we are determined for Biafra restoration. Nobody can stop that. We are all aware that all these are all the crooks perpetuated by the Nigerian government to disrupt what we are doing. And I want to ask their friends, before I finalize my talk, let me ask you, when has self-determination, where has the right of a people to rule themselves, where has it become a crime? Where has it become terrorism? The world watches. Their friends, every weekend, we have to raise money. The reason we raise money is because Nigeria government uses reintegrated terrorists to continue to kill our people. They, 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 they make, fun, they make our, our youth disappear forcefully. People are taken away from their friend land and they dump them in prisons in the north, in the west. No, without any justice, without any lawyer. Our leader Nam Dekano was renditioned from Kenya by the same Nigerian government, by the same people that went to complain to the local authorities in Finland about our Prime Minister Simon Eka. Our leader it was renditioned from Kenya. The United Nations set up a committee and told Nigerian government to release our leader Nandekano. They refused to do that. Three law courts in Nigeria has told Nigerian Tinubu government to release Nandekano. The terrorist government run by Nigeria refused to release him. And now they think without releasing him now the canal, if they if they incarcerate our PM uh, briefly, that is gonna make any change. Just think their major reason is to make sure that we take away our PM Simon ever briefly, and then there will be no declaration of Biafra. Hell, oh my goodness. If they know how the efforts are prepared this time, they will just leave our leader within the next 30 minutes. Because what is coming both to Nigeria and to any international country that protects, participates, become part of anything to disrupt the restoration of Biafra, the they will get themselves. On that note, I thank Biafra. I want to let you all know our PM is said I'm happy. It is just a brief disruption to our plans 
Preach is not going to affect anything in any way. I want all the 40 states of Biafra to be resolute more than ever at this time. The Biafra Liberation Army, our Biafra Defense Forces, now is the time to be more resolute. Our PM has given instruction. Any terrorist in Nigeria, any Nigerian military, Nigerian police, Nigerian Air Force, anything wearing Nigerian uniform inside the Afro land, they are the reintegrated terrorists that Nigeria wants to use to kill and stop the Afro. So the Biafra Defense Forces, from this moment, you must increase whatever you have been doing. This is the time to increase it towards our final restoration. Our demands are very, very clear. Remove all the terrorists wearing Nigerian military and police uniform in Biafra land. Secondly, release our leader, Mazik Namdekano. Again, whatever investigation you are doing with our prime minister, you need to release him as son. Because what he is doing is saving our lives. We must be alive for our freedom. So anything, anybody, all the terrorists in Biafra land, from this moment, just be aware that the forces we are going to release as a government from today is going to be very, very deadly. Because you cannot come to our land, kill us, and then go free. We must defend ourselves. This order is from our PM. Nobody can stop that. So I thank you all, dear friends, for this brief uh, Zoom. The reason we conducted this so we don't have all these negative eyes flying around, all people, just people talking, whatever they don't know. You all have heard it from our honorable Uche, who is based in Finland. He gave the accurate picture of what is happening, and we stand by that. We are encouraging dear friends because the information is that some, some, some criminal people, we are the ones that were writing different letters to the Finnish local authorities. So we are calling on their friends at this moment. If you have the access, start writing immediately to the Finnish local authorities. Let them know that what we are doing is what United Nations has given us the right to do, the right to self-determination. Nobody can take that away from us. We have met all the criteria to be a nation. We have a geographical area. We have the 40 states in Biafra with all the administrators in charge in homeland. We are, have created alliances with nations. We have all these that are working for us. We've met all the criteria as a nation. They killed us before, between 1967 and 1970. After the war, they gave all Biafras only 20 pounds, regardless of how much you have in your bank account. Some Biafras have millions of dollars, millions of pounds in their account. But this wicked Tinubu Nigerian government and his cohorts, they gave their friends, every single Biafra, only 20 pounds after the war. And what has that 20 pounds done? That 20 pounds have made their friends all over the world the best in what they do. So nobody can stop that. On that note, I want to thank you all, their friends. Be resolute. Let nothing shake you. Let nobody move you. And uh, our declaration will happen in Finland between November 29th and December 3rd, 2024. And thank you all so much for listening to us and being able to know that nothing shakes, nothing moves. We must restore Biafra by 2nd December. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you, uh, CRS, and thank you, the entire Biafran people and the media and the press for keying into these um, updates from the Biafran government. Um, the speculation there had been that our prime minister has been kidnapped. So if you are a Biafran, your prime minister is not kidnapped. He is safe and sound. And from every explanation, you can hear and know that he is on a national assignment. So he is there for Biafra and not there for himself. He is there for the opportunity that he has sorted for years to pick Biafra and to show to the entire world. The time is now. So wherever you are, keep focus and continue what you're doing. We see you all in Finland and nothing maga. Yes, every department are intact. There is a government and there is a structure. And like the COS said, um, the zoo terrorists 
should feel sorry for themselves because um, the PFL defense forces will be extra brutal and 100% pro max now. Since uh, we have understood that you guys um, want to play Utere dance, you will dance Utere dance, and we will see who dance best. So if you know what to do best, oh, bring it on. <laughs> hey, the bright fan people are so, so ready. I wasn't taken unaware that my prime minister will be on that big seat to answer questions to the Biafran people. No, because it is part of the um, template that we have to follow. So it is a very big privilege that the entire world will hear of Biafra even before the declaration. So every Biafra should be hitting their chest to say, we have gotten the entire world on their block course. That is what you should be doing now. So be happy and please make sure you keep up to every duties assigned to you. We will attend to like um, three questions, just three questions because of time, just three questions. So if we see your hand up quickly, that will be done. So Veteran Dragon 2, just three questions. Veteran Dragon 2, you take the mic first. Go straight to your question. Veteran Dragon 2, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, Veteran Dragon, Honorable uh, Sunny, before he goes, please. Uh, a lot of the friends are asking for the email, phone number for the Finnish local authority. And um, it may, um, I would just encourage the friends, um, if you don't have it before we close, I know the Biafra Media through Honorable Sonny will be able to release all the necessary information, the email, their phone numbers, and uh, that of the Finnish government, uh, hopefully immediately after this on Zoom. Thank you so much, Honorable Sonny. Go ahead. Thank you, Veteran Dragon. Over to you. Yeah, uh, please. Am I, is my voice coming out, please? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, thank you so much. It is my pleasure to thank our COS and to thank the media department and to thank our finance minister and to thank the entire cabinet members of Biafran Republic government in exile. What you've just done this evening, you've done what is expected of a responsible government. And I want to say thank you so much. We have listened to what you said, but let me add my voice. Dear friends, we have come a long way. Injustice being meted on, on us have come a long way. We have suffered enough in the hands of barbaric, terrorist, Islamic government. And time has come for our freedom. And so, like you said, our, we are all prepared to pay any price to make sure that Biafra comes. So whatever is happening now is part of what should happen in freedom fighting. It is not strange, nobody is moved, nobody should be moved. This is a very beautiful opportunity we have been looking forward to. A time when we shall be called as a government to explain our plight, to explain our grievances, and Elohim have provided that beautiful opportunity. So our prime minister is going to explain the issues that has to do with Biafra. So I thank him for taking up this responsibility. We Biafrans, we are not moved in any way. It is now we are more determined to become whatever will make it possible for our freedom to come. We will either become the beasts or wild animals to make sure that our servitude and our slavery and our extermination does not continue in this so-called zoo. 
thank you so much, dear friends, anywhere you are, whether at homeland, whether abroad, whether in the diaspora, wherever you are, this is the time to show that we are Biafrans. There is a spirit that lives in Biafrans. It's a spirit of courage. It's a spirit that does not fear. It's a spirit that can meet any challenge and surmount it. So, gallant Biafrans, stand up with your full chest. Our declaration and the convention that is coming between 29th to 3rd of December cannot be disrupted. What we are doing is legal. We have over 50 million votes of Biafrans who are suffering under the slavery and the terrorism of the so-called Nigerian state. So this number is enough. Anywhere, anywhere, no government in exile have ever had a number of this magnitude so we are legally doing what we are doing with this mandate we are continuing this the fight to freedom so our men on ground please do whatever you can now let your best come Every Nigerian man in uniform, whether in the army, in the police, anywhere you find them in Biafra, they are terrorists. Disseminate them. Destroy the enemy. Set the Biafrans free. Enough is enough. The zoo have fallen and they cannot hold us back. So whatever thing they are doing, petition they are writing, it is too late. It is too late. Having experienced the first war of genocide against us, we are more determined, more prepared to pay the supreme price. So, dear friends, this is the time to be stronger, to be more courageous. Let's march on and make sure that our freedom is certain and sure and delivered. Thank you, every one of you. I salute you. I salute my prime minister. I salute our supreme leader, wherever he is. We are not backing down. We are marching forward. Shame to Nigeria. Shame to the zoo. They have fallen. So fantastically corrupt, as said by the former prime minister of UK. And that is what they are. They are terrorists. And we can never be part of the terrorist country. We can never be part of terrorist country. Never, never, never. All right. So thank, thank you so much. You. Thank, you, thank so you so much. much. Thank you, Minister Sunny. Thank, so thank, uh, thank you so much. Thank if we you. can, um, we can uh, everybody, when you want to talk, uh, Minister Sunny, we can just uh, keep it one, one minute. So much. It's so much. Um, their friends are so, so happy, so excited. There are so many hands up. So I know initially we plan just to take three hands, but at this point, with all the um, uh, people that uh, want to um, add their mind, if we can um, uh, just uh, just take it. But everybody, please be mindful. Just one one minute. We have over ten thousand watching this in this um, uh, Zoom alone. We almost three hundred and ninety five, almost four hundred. This is ex this is extraordinary. This shows you how dear friends love our PM Simon Eva. Honorable Sonny, please go ahead. Thank you so much. Yeah, we come to Namdi Anosike. Unmute yourself. And um, before Namdi goes on, please, um, the zoo terrorist Nigeria do not have an edge on our Prime Minister. Our Prime Minister is being interrogated by his own country um, um, government, not the zoo government. So the zoo government has no edge on him. If they had an edge on him, they would have had him in one Nigeria, uh -huh, like they kidnap our leader. So no need for panic, no need for misunderstanding of the report. Um, Nandi Anosike, over to you. Very good evening to my honorable members of the zoo, especially our COS, Sagacho Suman. You have really made us proud. We are very, very grateful. What you have done to us, what you have done is in delivering our heart. We are really great. So, uh, I don't have any questions, just that I, I didn't know what to tell my people. You know, we've been, all, every, every one of us, we've been like, you know, 
Bizek, running around and when we've not gotten any information. But for the fact that uh, TOS has given us the light of what is really going on, I think we are now proud. I knew that this is what we really wanted. And when they, when they said they uh, invited our prime minister or they arrested him, it is not, it's not, it's not a new thing. This is what we had expected. So it's nothing, it's nothing to panic about because now our prime minister, the Nigeria, the Zoo government, they are trying to, they are going to expose themselves to more. So I don't have anything. Just an encouragement for every, for every one of us to remain resolute. Nothing is, nothing is done. For the final convention, we are coming there. Everything is done. I just throw my weight on our COS. But you know, I to move. I need my mic for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We come to Omeze Emmanuel. Omeze Emmanuel, unmute yourself. Stick to your one one minute, please. Okay. Good evening, sirs. They will. Um, um, my name is Omeze Zuchu Emmanuel. I'm, I'm really happy for this Zoom meeting this night because throughout the day I will, I've been like I've been moody about the news I had, but this encouraged me that nothing is gonna change um the Biafra revelation on um, second December. So I'm I thank my CSO for the encouragement she gave. I'm really happy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, we come to Gregory Obuju. Over to you. Thank you, my dear for families. Um, I thank God so much for our information ministers. Thank God for all the team. Thank God for COS. I thank God for whatever information. But I believe that for them that love God, everything works for their good. So I only just want to use this opportunity to encourage uh, Biafran that this is the time we have to come together more stronger, more family, and more prayerful. Yorubá. Mo fo wo so ya pe un ko ni dale tabi so tesi isokan ati tesi waju orilede mi le odudua emi yo fi gbogbo ipa okan ise ogbon ati ise ibi sin orilede mi ni otito ati lododo titi ojo aye ni gbogbo eyan ju awon ko ni to ti lo ko ni gasufu lati owo obin titi de ran diran tin bo leyin mo se ileri pe esin tabi iselu Ko ni ya wani le odudua. To ba waye be, mo le lo kwa e je to kusara mi, la ti fi shekwe, a ti jajagbara fwa onri le de mi. I le odudua, iran yoruba, e de kan, a shakan, 
ati ise kan lo so wa po lai lai lagbare ledua